there and like that. <laughs> Okay, I'm on my leader. Oh yeah, it's a big bruiser, man. Big one? Oh yeah. Oh, that's big, man. This is huge, dude. Back! Dude. Oh, baby, look at the head! Ready <laughs> this, bro? Oh, pull him out, boy. Show me. Oh, oh. my! <laughs> As you can see, I am at Baker's Narrows Lodge. Rumor has it, there is a young gun here by the name of Mac Mulligan, who has this lake pretty dialed. Now, I know he's a super busy guy and we're gonna have to abduct him. So I just spent the last hour or so driving around Flin Flon, Manitoba in search of tools needed for an abduction. Found this unit. Now, nobody's gonna get hurt. We just need that shock and awe factor. Believe it or not, it's incredibly hard to find a balaclava in Northern Manitoba. I was able to find this unit right here at a gas station in Flin Flon. I had to go into this weird little back aisle to get it and for some reason, it doesn't have eye holes, just a mouth hole, but I can still kind of see through it. So I'm gonna go get settled in and then we are gonna go kidnap Mac. Looking for Mac Mulligan? Drop the chartreuse? I know it's you, Justin. <laughs> Just get in the sleigh. Let's go. All right, let's go. Get out. Leave the bourbon with you. All right, Mac. Just stick to the script. Answer the questions with the answers that I told you, and we'll be able to go fishing soon. Okay. First question, Mac. Who are you? What do you do? How old are you? That's two questions. No, that's a, this is a three-part question. My name is Mac Mulligan. I'm a guy at Baker's Narrows. I'm 20 years old. Only 20, huh? Neat. Okay, complete the following sentence. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. <laughs> Those are dead. Complete the following sentence. Okay, complete the following sentence. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Ah! If it ain't chartreuse, it will produce. There we go. Now, what another question? I didn't even think of one. We didn't get that far ahead. No. What is your favorite fish species, and what are we gonna fish for? I'll just say, yeah. And for the final question, if you answer this right, we can leave and go fishing right now. What is the best freshwater game fish species through the ice? Lake trout. That is correct. Yes! We're good. Let's go fishing, Mac. You passed the test. Suck. All right, Mac, now that we got that whole uh, abduction thing out of the way, do you think it's time we get on some big mama lake trout? It's go time, buddy. Okay, so I guess we'll just set up the shack here. Man, you're good. Is this thing working? Yeah, we on TV, Mac. Woo! Your camera's still rolling too on the back of the sled. Yeah, quality footage right there. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little competition. We're gonna go hard baits versus soft baits. Just because of the gap in angling skill level, like me being the hot stick that I am and Mac being pretty good, but you know, not quite as good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna each pick hard bait or soft bait, set a timer for one hour and then switch at each hour interval and keep a tally of what catches more. So myself personally, I'm gonna start with soft baits for the first hour. Mac, you got the Dragon Slayers, bud? So we got an assortment of colors here of Dragon Slayers. We have a couple of modified tails on these rigs here. A couple split tails. I'm not really sure what that is. That's a prototype right there. Another little split tail choppy. Why are you so truly? I am not too sure, bud. So yeah, I'm gonna mess around with those. Max gonna use soft plastics of his choice on his turn and hard baits of his choice. We're set up in some pretty deep water here, about 80 feet or so. And fishing, like I said, between two humps. So there's fish cruising back and forth up throughout the water column. We're gonna be fishing aggressive. We're gonna catch some big mamas. You ready, Mac? Ready, buddy. Let's do it. Okay, so you're on hard baits first. That was gross. There's so much drool. It was so hard to keep my mouth closed with that right in there. So, what I'm going to start with is the split tail in a natural color in which I forget its name. I think that will slay. Whoa! That was weird. I wasn't ready for that. DQ'd, man. That bite right down the ice. As I was dropping down, this feels like a heavier fish, sort of. I was so not ready for that. Dude. 
That was we, cool. didn't, we didn't even start yet. My yeah, we did. In. My the line's not even in. The timer, the, I didn't even You're set You're DQ'd, man. Not even. You know all about the DQ, don't you? Dairy Queen? First fish for the soft plastics. There we go. Instantly. Instantly. I probably wasn't even down for 10 seconds there. Beauty. Let's get him back. That guy is charged. There's bait on the bottom right now. See right there? That's clearly some bait or something scooting along the bottom. Can't, oh yeah, you can kind of see it on the pan optic. Just kind of, it's not showing up too defined. The reason why I have both sonars going and the camera on the, the 2D sonar is because pan optics kind of struggles in deeper water and at 82 feet, it's, it's, it's having a hard time. So you probably wouldn't be able to see too much of what's going on if the camera was mostly on the pan optics. But the reason we have the pan optics going is to see things in a little bit clearer detail, like bait swimming by and fish maybe way off to the side that you wouldn't pick up with the 2D sonar. Unnecessary amount of electronics going on in the shack, but if you got it, use it. You don't need to go and buy a pan optics, a 2D sonar, a flasher, an underwater camera, just to be as cool as Mac and I. It'd help, it awesome. but it, you don't need it. First step, if, if you were looking for tips on how to be cool as Mac and I, I'd say get a mullet. That would be your first your first play. Going to pink money or what? Going to this little, the what demon um, yellow. It's like an off yellow. I think this is more yellow than chartreuse. Wouldn't you say? Like lime? Or wait, which one's yellow? Lemon. Like this would be chartreuse, I'd say, in there. Yeah. See how it has like a little... Same color. Not even, dog. Go side by side, that's like the exact same color. It's like same, same, but different. Yeah. Get this away from me. It's making me sick. Wow, that little... That demon tail looks even better, I think. Oh, look at that way up high. See that? 40 feet. Race ya. I'm already there. Wow. Ever fast. You were there, bro. There's that, that meme. The guy's at the dentist. The dentist is like, when's the last time you flossed? And the, the, at the bottom, it's like, you were there, bro. <laughs> you go to the dentist? No, I haven't gone since I was of, of age of majority. F that place. My teeth are good. I never had no cavities. I think the dentist might sabotage teeth so they can get more business. There's people that go to the dentist all the time. They have all these teeth problems. We just have mental problems. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I need to go to a, a brain dentist. The American fish on the bottom. Something small. I don't think it's anything of interest. I think it's something massive. I guess we have different definitions of massive, Mac. What means nothing to me might mean more to you, you know? This is going to be a long hour. Do you think so? I was going to just post the video in real time. So every second I'm going to include, I'll make a, like an eight hour video like Clayton. There's, there'll be lots of beeps in there. <laughs> yeah. There'll be beep, Clayton check. Beep, beep, beep. beep. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. He was so nice about the drama queen thing. He like texted me. He's like, I said this in a video. Is it okay if I use it? Hell yeah. That's what I'm all about. If you're not hating, you're not loving. Oh, there's a fish coming. Fish coming in at 60 feet, probably can't see it because the camera is on the 2D sonar and it's being read on the pan optitron. That's definitely sliding right off the structure of that fish, eh? It seems like it. Like, do you want to mention something about why you think this is going down, whatever's going down? Not really. <laughs> okay, never mind then. If they want the juice, they can get a guide, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hire me, I'm Mac Mulligan. Hi, I'm Mac Mulligan. I'm not going to tell you sh unless you book me as a guide. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's definitely a fish or pie right now. Oh yeah, yeah, it's going up at you, eh? Oh, coming in like cake, baby. I just stunned this one. Oh, he's awake now. Yeah. Oh, dude, don't come up tail first, please. That sounds like you snagged him. There yeah, he is, little guy. Trophy. Show that off to the camera. He bit that rattle bait. They don't ask how big. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen. We'll get that fish drop on slow mo. They don't ask how big, they ask how many. That's right. One for the hard baits. One a piece. We're neck and neck. Oh yeah, that was a fish. I knew it was. Where? Way down? Just shot up my hook, man. It's not you versus me, it's lure versus lure. Don't even. There's no time for, for horseplay. This is product testing. We're doing science. We're extrapolating. Which baits suspended lake trouts prefer? I still think we're gonna get a bruiser coming on the bottom. Is that your hypothesis? Yeah. You see how I said hypothesis? Cause we're doing science? Man, I want a tube down there, bro. You got only, you have 14 minutes to wait. That's a big fish. Is it showing up on you? Wow, did that streak up? That was a big fish, man. It looked like it for, re for showing up that big in deep water like that. No way. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Dude, dude, is this it? 
Oh my. Why am I not seeing it though? Come on, dude. Dude, that, I think that would have been a XL. I think so too, kind of. Where did it go? Like, did it go down? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's on the bottom. Mm, that big mama hesitation. Classic move. Classic big mama. I thought it was kind of going to bite at that time because it charged. Oh, I forgot I'm using chartreuse. Is that bad if you catch it? No, it's bad for the fish biting it. I've never really had confidence in chartreuse. Big fish? Just for fish in general. I don't know. I think it's just a mental thing though. I think so. I think it's just like looking at it, it just looks so insane. But does pink look any less insane? And I like pink. There's no doubt that chartreuse is like the deal for walleyes. And I feel confident using chartreuse for walleyes. For pickerel? <laughs> Can you please leave your shack? What's yeah, well, for pickerel. Oh, I hate that. You know what's the worst? If somebody says, yeah, we caught a couple picks. Like, Ugh. I always say that to like a bunch of people. Yeah, uh, just getting a few picks. Uh, makes me want to throw up. Just like a few it, picks and a few jacks. <laughs> <laughs> like that wretch that Alex gave off when he bit that Cisco eyeball. <laughs> 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 but it's like, I'd rather eat a Cisco eyeball than hear somebody say picks and jacks. Oh, it's got some Cisco's up high. Looks like there's something marking heavy below it a bit. Kind of cruising up at it too. I wonder if that's a lake trout. It's a no, 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 no. There's lake trout above it. Those are showing up quite prominent on the on the sonar dude these ciscos are just lurking there's gonna be a big lake trout cruising they're so tightly wound look there's some right under the ice too there's a little contrast a little difference between the how those are showing up on the pan optics and how they're showing up on the regular sonar the pan optics just gives you so much more of a view of what you're what you're looking at down there better visualization mm -hmm. I'm gonna set it better myself, Mac. You know what that means, Mac? It's time for the old switcheroo. Okay, the score what? One apiece after the first period. Okay, quick swap. Dragon Slayer out and rattle bait in. Just watch, we're gonna see a bunch of suspended ones now. As we're swapping. So what I'm starting out with is the 60 millimeter Sparkle Shiner Tantrum. I'm kind of stuck between this one and the Metallic Sexy Shadow and which one I like more. What are you ripping, Mac? Show them what you got. What I'm ripping is a, a little tube with a little Derby Slayer sticking out the arse of it. <laughs> sticking out the arse. It gives it such a nice little extra action to the tube. It's like best of both worlds because there's no denying that a white tube is like one of these staple baits for lake trout. You have a fish on? Yeah, it's like micro. That counts as a fish for the soft plastics, though. It might be like a turbot. Or... It's that small, eh? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I didn't know they came that small. And again, folks, they don't ask how big, they ask how many. That's right. And that number, number is two. two. For the soft, baby. Are they, are, is everything rolling right now? We're all on. Nice job, dude. Did you just call your shot like Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth, baby. Babe Ruth calling his home runs. That's right, lose it. Oh no, I should have reeled up. I think we're tangled. Yeah, we're definitely tangled. Kind of decent dish, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I thought it was decent. Maybe not. No, no, no. It's just fat as a blimp. Wow, that thing's what? fat. Holy! Like what? Dude, what did that thing eat? Holy smokes! Wow. Check it out. That's a super fat, not a very long one, but that's like a future 50 pounder maybe. Look at that gut. Oh my goodness. That's a fat boy. It's got huge eyes too. Huh? Wow, dude. That's like, oh, freak, freak. Nice, nice release back. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Okay, now we're tangled, so I gotta fix that. That's on me. Are we free? That's three to one. Soft plastics pulling ahead. Mostly because it took me like a half an hour to get my freaking the, the, the cross lock. So nice having those little low profile cross lock snaps, but it is not easy to open in cold weather. Get that fish, man, or I'll reel up and catch it for you. It's right below me. It didn't want me. Ooh, there's two? two yeah. yeah, I see him. Oh, you just smoked this tube. I just totally whiffed. Oh, I got one chasing. Got one. Oh my goodness, this, oh, 
Is that a big one? It felt heavy for a second. He crushed that rattle bait so hard. It's not a bad one. Better one. Yeah? Turn around. Why do they keep coming in upside down? Stop. There he is. Not a bad little lake trout. That's like bordering on no longer medium. That is. Beauty. Crush the tantrum. Crush the tantrum. Bunch of bait, eh? It's gotta be a caboose like that. Looks really big on my screen. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. On schedule. Go oh, that dude, is that big? Okay, I'll reel this up. I think so Dude! I don't think it's huge, huge, but... I don't... That, that run got me going. Set though, man. Dad, Bang! man, when I grow up, I want a hook set like that. Did I kill him? Is he dead? Just like floating in on his way. The caboose of the Cisco train. That's amazing. Yeah, called better. that. Just absolutely called it. It's funny how delayed it is though sometimes. So what Max talking about, about the caboose there is big cloud of bait came through. A couple seconds after, a fish was clearly chasing the cloud of bait and Mac intercepted it with his rattle bait. Beauty fish. That has surpassed the medium threshold. It's probably like a close to 30 inch fish, I'd say. It's nice and robust. Cisco chaser. Right on, okay. That's what we're looking for, getting closer to it anyways. Let's get back down there and get some more. Oh, something's charging, bro. That's a where? fat mark, dude. Where, where, where? On I'm not bottom. seeing it on mine. Oh, Ooh, big boy hook set. That's a bigger fish right there. I'll bring this up. Nice job, buddy. <laughs> that, that's what you like you to like hear, baby. Set, man? Oh, I loved it. I didn't just like it, Mac, I loved it. Talk me through it, what's happening? The mark just shot in quick, it shot up towards Justin's, and then just shot down and smoked this too. <laughs> that looks like it's got some weight, boy. I haven't gained anything on it yet, I don't think. I can see it on the uh, the live scope there. It is at the bottom. Yeah. It's just heavy, bro. It looks heavy. Okay, I got that there. Can't even see it on the live scope yet. That's it, looking at it on live scope, it's way over here on the very corner, like right on the bottom. It so. hasn't moved up, <laughs> like it's like a foot off the bottom dude. You see it? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> he is not giving you an inch. It's back in the mud. Jeez. Getting, gaining on him a bit? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of leeway. Just buckled, man. Just buckled, Look baby. at, you can see it right now. There's that fish there, he's just a couple, maybe 10 feet off bottom and not for long. Back to home. That's a big boy. That thing just crushed it too, man. And that like hook set? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. She ain't happy, bro. Good. Because I am. Still like 10 feet off bottom. I love it. I love it. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I'm just so pumped, man. I love it. This is lake trout fishing. Like this is what this is what you grind it out for three days for. Oh yeah. And you don't lose hope because you know there's a chance. Seriously, putting the crazy man hours get rewarded. Oh heck yeah! Absolutely cannot beat it. Nothing's more rewarding. Not even an auntie from Bingo. Big mama auntie. Mac, this is the one, baby. This is monumental, bro. <laughs> this is the one. Okay, I'm on my leader. Oh yeah, it's a big bruiser, man. Big one? Oh yeah. It's gonna be sick for it's right there, dude. This is a beast, man. Is it a big boy? Seriously, like a hog, man. Dude, Mac! Bubbles, boy, bubbles. Oh, that's big, man. This is huge, dude. Mac! Dude. Ooh, baby, look at the head! 
Take this, bro. Oh, pull him out, boy. Show me. Yeah, baby. Mac. That is a brute. Man, that thing's a freaking pig. Look at the freaking <laughs> snout on this thing. Absolute unit. Oh my goodness, man. That is such a big fish. Holy. Wow. Frick, I knew that mark was huge. Dude. <laughs> Get that on the board. The Let's freaking see. Freaking vapor trail, too. Look at that snout, man. That snout is insane. Freaking brute. Unbelievable. That's so sick. Oh, one last look at her. Throw me that big girl, boy. Dude. Those fins, man. Baker's Narrows, Mac Mulligan, holy smokes. Come and get it. Baker's Narrows Lodge, baby. Dude, that's a monster. Let's put her back for one of you guys to get. Awesome. Such an old fish. So much character. The things that fish has probably tail. seen. Ready to rip. Oh my goodness, Mac, he's gone. Sweet, man. So awesome, dude. One point to the soft plastics. It only takes one, Holy baby. Holy smokes, man. So dude. awesome. <laughs> Are you so dope. feeling that, Mac? Woo! Fired up, man.